visitors to a happy and delightful pleasant little Shire. Why, our Shire is so prosperous this past season that we have erected nine, count that if you can, nine new buildings. Ooh. Yeah! Oh, Brand new Pussy's Pub is amazing. We've also reopened the Rusty Knife in the back. Yes, remember that? Mm -hmm. the stage there, it's quite nice. And my personal favorite, a brand new dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely. Yes. Anyway, to my right is the most honorable Sir Robert Loxley. And to my left is the almost honorable <laughs> Philip DeMarc, Sheriff of Nottingham and Magistrate of the Village of Stirling. <laughs> and of course, his lovely ward, the Maid Marion. <laughs> You do me honor, my lord. Oh, it is I who am honored by thy lovely presence. You are most kind, my lord. Please, call me Robert. Robert. Oh, yes, yes, I'm sure we're already happy to be here today. As we are the two highest ranking noblemen of the Shire, it is our duty, nay, privilege, to welcome you all to our happy and most pleasant little village. Cue the happy peasant. <laughs> <laughs> Look how happy they are. <laughs> Make them smile. <laughs> happy presents! Front and center! One, two, three. Welcome to Sterling. We're a perfect shot. Here we have some balls of which you should inquire. Put your eyes, please look down on the one that wears the crown. Sterling is Woodsman, be careful what you say. 
say next. Good people, under the sheriff's boot, the people of this shire have suffered greatly. That they have. He squeezes every last penny in overbearing taxes and unjust fines. Aye, that is right. Right. All collected by his band of thugs. Right there, right there. What could you possibly mean, Miss Julie, appointed bailiffs you see before me? Why, it's not my bidding that they do, but the legal dictates of the court. Of which is corrupt and perverse, yes. and whose name is Philip de Mar. Yes. Yes. I would not say such things if I were you. Good people, heed my words. There is nothing amiss in this shire that cannot find redress within the confines of the law. Huh. And what if the law be the source of that injustice? Then the law shall answer unto the people. Noble words for a noble man. But justice moves slowly in the shire, while the sheriff's injustice gallops apace. <laughs> I am bound by the law as well as you. Oh, the law has no teeth for men like you. Only the poor and oppressed feel the law's might. The right. downtrodden of spirit. Right. The desperate mothers with their starving children. Yeah. <laughs> Nonsense. I see nothing but well fed, happy peasants before me. Philip. These people are not from Sterling. No. <laughs> point taken. Nevertheless, this little job offers no proof to these boundless accusations. What? Him and his cohorts mean nothing but to disrupt the peace. Arrest that man. Who? Oh, on what ground? Is he speaking to our commander that must be paid for by false imprisonment? They have a kiss, Moxie. Arrest John Little. Yeah, they have done nothing wrong. I said stay out of this arrest them all! Open the gates, you primate! Open the gates! 